What is up everyone? I am Jamie with Three Little Goats Homestead and today we are in my office which means one thing. We are making soap and probably a mess but more importantly we are making soap so I am still on my journey of getting back into somewhat of a normal routine of making soap again and today we're going to be doing another cold process soap and we're going to be playing around with some bright colors which are always my favorite. I don't use them nearly as much as I want to but when I do, I really love how they turn out. So hopefully this soap goes as planned. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, y'all. I'm sorry if the audio is kind of crap today. Um, Jesse has my other camera, which has my external mic on it. So we are working with what we got today. So we are going to be making some flower child soap. I get this from Crafters or Wholesale Supplies Plus. It's from Rustics Essentials. It does have vanilla in it. So we are going to be adding some vanilla color stabilizer because I don't want this to discolor too much. For colors, we are doing Force of Nature from Nurture Soap. And then we are also doing Material Girl from Nurture Soap. They're some of their fluorescent colors. They're gorgeous and I love them. So I've already got all of my powders mixed in here. We freeze dry our goat milk from our Nigerian dwarfs. I have a video going over how I do that. I just prefer to use freeze-dried goat milk. It just makes my life a little bit easier. So I've mixed in my goat milk powder, my beer powder, and my kale and clay are already in here. And I'm going to add in my lye water solution. And we are going to get this open. So I'm going to bring this to a fairly light trace so we can get this beautiful soap made. Well, in my mind, it's beautiful. We'll see how it turns out. All right, I've been playing around with my actual soap recipe and I think I'm going to tweak it a little bit more because it's thickening it up a little bit quicker than what I wanted to, but it's okay. We'll work with what we got today. So we're going to drop in that. We're going to drop in there. It'll be colors. We've got our green. Ooh, don't drop, don't drop the mica cup. That would make a very big mess. All right, let's get these mixed in by hand. I absolutely adore the CoverGirl color from Nurture Soap. It is just one of the most prettiest pinks. All right, so let's get our fragrance in. Get that mixed in. I'm not really a big floral scent. If you guys have been around for a while, you know I don't. I don't like the smell of flowers. I don't like flowers in my house. I don't plant them unless they are medicinal. But I can, I like this scent. It's not super floral in your face. It's not bad. And I'm always getting requests for more floral, floral scents at the market, so I figure I might as well try to make some for this upcoming market. So I'm just going to do a drop swirl. I'm going to put in some white. I'm going to put in some pink, put in some green.
that fixed up. I'll just give this top a little swirl. I don't want to interrupt what's going on underneath there. Just want to even all of this out and make it pretty. All right, so I'm just going to give it some spritz of rubbing alcohol. We're going to let this hang out and cure for 24 to 48 hours. And when it is ready to cut, I will bring y'all back. All right, y'all. It is my favorite time of the week and it is soap cutting day. This is actually one of the last soaps I'm cutting for today. If you guys didn't know, I usually will film a whole bunch of soaps in one day and then I will edit them into separate videos. Just makes it a little bit easier for me. But I am super excited about this one because the neons didn't morph at all and they look gorgeous on the top and i'm really excited to see how they look on the bottom so we will see if we got a partial gel which i'm notorious for getting which is perfectly fine i know how to fix it i have a video showing how to fix it as well but let's let's get into this girl because she's looking mighty pretty on the top if i can get her cut through Whew. all right so that is the end piece, oh my goodness. These neons, man, they are my favorites. I don't use them very often and I really, really, really should because they are just gorgeous. But I try, I try to do a lot more all natural soaps. I don't film a whole lot of them because they're pretty boring. They're usually don't have any colorants. And if they do, they're a natural colorant like cocoa or a spirulina or some sort of clay and so I don't film a whole lot of them if you want to see more of my natural soap making videos let me know down in the comments and I will get some of those filmed and post it because I'm very close to market season and I am very behind on making soap so I will be making soap probably for the next few weeks every day so but these turned out gorgeous and they smell amazing and they're gonna lather really well as well. So I guess I'll see you guys in the outro. All right, y'all. So that is what I have got for you guys today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, we put out new videos every single week and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.